In this video, we're going to set up a MySQL database. Now you might be going, wait a minute, I thought this was a series about PHP. Why are you working with MySQL? And the reason is because almost every server-side language, whether you're using ASP or PHP, works against a database. And I've seen some tutorials out there where they don't even mention MySQL, and that's just amazing because we really need to spend a few lectures talking about MySQL and get that going because we're going to create some scripts that will work against our MySQL database. So it makes sense to take care of this now. So as usual, I will guide you through every step of the way. Now, first thing I want you to do is open up your XAMPP control panel. And I want you to fire up your MySQL. So go ahead and start that. I've had few problems, by the way, starting this up. It's much easier, actually, than Apache. But if you do have a port conflict, you will want to resolve that. And you may have to do a search on Google. So we can go ahead and just minimize this. Now what I want you to do is go down to the Start menu. And you're going to type in Command here. And that will bring up the Command window. If you have the Metro UE down here, if you're on Windows 8.1 or above, you can just right-click on it. And that will allow you to bring up the Command window. Now, the next thing we want to do is browse to our installation directory, wherever you installed XAMPP. In my case, I just took the default, so it's sitting right on my C drive. So we're going to open that up, and then we're going to go ahead and scroll down to MySQL. And then we're going to open up the bin folder, and what we're going to be calling is this MySQL app. Now, an easy way to do this is simply to just go ahead and copy the path here, and then we can come over here, and let's just go ahead and do a CD backslash here and that will get us at the root directory. Now you can right click up here, you can go to edit, and you can hit paste. And see, that's much easier than having to type all that out. And then what we need to do is specify my SQL. And actually I have caps on, so I better take that off. And we can close this out now. Now what I want you to do is hit space, and then you're gonna type in hyphen u, and then root. And basically this will log us in as the root user, meaning you don't need to use a password. So hit enter, and you'll get all this gibberish. Don't worry about any of this. And they should be at a new prompt. And you should see this MariaDB. You may see MySQL here. And if you do, that's just fine. This MariaDB, by the way, this is the new MySQL. MySQL was bought by Oracle a few years ago. And the MySQL developers have started up a new type of database. Basically the same thing. It, it just says MariaDB now. This is where the database goes. Now you can see we don't have any databases at this point. And that is fine because we haven't created one yet. But that doesn't mean there aren't databases that are already out there. They were created when we installed XAMPP. Let's actually make this a little bit bigger. So now that we are logged in, let's go ahead and issue our command. And we're just going to type in show database. And this is just to make sure everything's working. By the way, you will always end this with a semicolon. That's the way this works once you're logged into MySQL. I'm going to call it MySQL, by the way, because I'm just too used to calling it MySQL. So you're going to go ahead and hit Enter. And it didn't work. What did I do wrong? I can just hit F1 here again. And the actual command is show databases. That was a mistake. I apologize for that. And we'll go ahead and hit Enter. And you should see this returned once you enter the command. You'll see database, and this will tell you all the databases that are already installed. And we could use one of these if we wanted to, but we're not going to. Now what we need to do is create our database. So let's go ahead and do that. And the command we use is create, and then we use the keyword database, and then we call it whatever we want to. In this case, I'm just going to call it test db, and then remember we have to use a semicolon at the end. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot. We just got this message that says, query OK, one row affected. Well, <laughs> that doesn't tell you much. Couldn't there be a message that says, your database was created, a nice message like that? But no. But it was, and that's the very Spartan message that we get. Now, just to make sure our database was created, let's go ahead and do another show databases. And there you can see, there's our database, test DB. So great. Now what we want to do is actually switch to this database. We want to use this database. And the command we issue is just use. That's it. You specify the database that you want. In this case, we want testDB. We hit enter. And look at that. We're now using the test database. And you can see right here, let's actually make this a little bit bigger. You can see right here, we're now logged into this database. You can see that because it says testDB right here. So that's how you can actually tell what database you are using. Okay, that's going to do it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll actually start to do some interesting things inside this database. See you guys then.